Hey everybody, it is Princess Friend, and the moment that I say that I'm only going to do three videos a week is when I get some urgent news, and I did want to come and tell you about this breaking news story that I don't know how breaking it is, but I thought it was really interesting. Because apparently, a whole lot of counties in the state of Minnesota are about to start suing the opioid companies. Now, obviously, uh, Prince died of an opioid overdose, and that was in 2016, and he was in uh, Carver County. And they are one of the counties that voted to take steps to seek legal action against opioid manufacturers and distributors, and that happened just yesterday on Tuesday. But it's not only Carver County. More than 60 local and state governments either have filed or plan to file lawsuits nationwide, um, according to this story. In Minnesota, Washington, Mauer, and Ramsey counties have already filed. Carver County is about to file and kind of get on board with this whole op opioid thing. The Carver County District Attorney, whose name is Mark Metz, he is actually quoted as saying, We are trying to hold manufacturers responsible in their conduct in regard to opioid marketing. We want to stop them from what they are doing and hold them accountable and provide relief for future care and education. So Mark Metz was asked pretty much point blank. He was asked if the county was suing and if they did win, would any of that recoup the costs that are associated with Prince's death? And I, that doesn't mean money going to the estate, but the, the, the state of Minnesota lost a lot of money after Prince died. And yeah, Paisley Park helps some, but just, uh, you know, Prince put a lot of money into the state because he cared about uh, the state and where he lived. And what Met said was, there will be no out-of-pocket costs to Carver County, which is kind of a non-answer. <laughs> like, he's not saying they're gonna get money, but he's saying that we're not gonna lose any money at least. So I guess that's a win-win. And honestly, if you can help fight against the opioid crisis and it not cost you anything, that's pretty awesome. I, I would do that. Like, how many of us would actually fight against that if it just cost us absolutely nothing? And then, of course, Metz ended with, we have to hold them accountable if you are abusing your duties all in the name of profits. That's what's so sad about this. It is at the expense of people's lives. So there you have it, everybody. Uh, breaking news uh, about... Um, Carver County, Prince's home county, now joining the fight against opioid overdoses. And honestly, it's about time. I'm surprised that they didn't do something like that much sooner, but I'm glad that they're at least finally getting on that train and hopefully their example will lead more counties and states all across the country to kind of join together and do that. So. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I would love to continue this discussion and be sure to share this around because just knowledge of the opioid crisis, I mean, everybody kind of knows about it, but knowing that these are more people taking a stand against it may inspire that next person to follow suit. So until next time, may you live to see the dawn. And if you like that video, don't forget to hit that little subscribe button down there. It's right in the corner. And also, there's other videos below me. Definitely check those out. Also, follow us on social media, and you can support the channel by visiting our Patreon or our Redbubble merch store. See you next time.